In this video, we'll be going over how to perform a laser beam alignment. Before you start, the tools you will need will be regular paint masking tape, as well as a small either 8 or 5 16 wrench. You would then have to have your water chiller or water pump connected to the machine and have water circulating in and out of your laser tube. Second step would be having your machine max power set at around 14% max power. Anything above that and you will ignite your piece of tape on fire. Step number one would be to, uh, to check the beam alignment off the laser tube onto mirror number one. So you would get a piece of tape about two inches long and place it on mirror number one's frame. You would need to make sure that you could see the circle outline on the frame. That way when you post the machine, the, the laser beam will produce a dot. And so you would want it to be aiming towards the center. So once you post your machine, your laser will produce a dot on the piece of tape. Ideally, you would want it to be aligned towards the center. Now, if for whatever reason your laser is shooting it a little bit up or a little bit down, you would have to adjust the stand. And this knob here controls the up or down direction. If your laser is shooting either to the right or to the left, you would have to adjust the stand at the bottom here. You would have to loosen these set screws and tilt the stand either a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, depending on what your laser is producing. Remember, your main goal is to get the dot towards the center. So for set number two, you would want to bring mirror number two to the back of the machine. Uh, you would get a piece of tape, place it on mirror number two's frame, and then you would pose the machine. Once you get a marking, you would check that the dot is guided towards the center. If your laser is going to either to the right or to the left, up or down, you would have to adjust the set screws on mirror number one. In order to adjust these, you, you need to loosen the nut at the bottom of each of these set screws. Each of these set screws has a different direction in which it guides the laser. The top set screw guides it up or down. The bottom right set screw guides it diagonally. And the set screw all the way to the left bottom guides it left and right. So depending on where your positioning of the dot is, you would need to align, you would need to guide the laser towards the center by adjusting those set screws. So once you have a dot being aligned towards the center, towards the back of the machine, you would then bring mirror number two to the front of the machine, have a piece of tape placed on, the, on mirror number two's frame and pulse the machine. Again, you would need to make sure that your dot is being guided towards the center of the frame. Again, if it's either going to the right, to the left, up or down, you need to adjust the set screws on mirror number one. Your goal is to have the dot aiming towards the center of the frame. Once you align your laser from mirror number one to mirror number two to be guided towards the center of the frame, you will then move to step number three and check the alignment between mirror number two and mirror number three. Mirror number three will be located on top of the laser head. Again, you will take a piece of tape, place it on the frame, and you have to make sure that you can imprint the circle on the laser head. Once you have it there, you need to locate your laser head and mirror number two at around a mix section of the, of the machine. Once placed there, you will pause the machine. Once you're able to see your marking, your dot, you have to make sure that it's being guided towards the center. Again, if your dot is being either a little bit towards the right or towards the left, up or down, you would have to adjust these set screws. Again, each of these set screws has a different direction in which it moves the laser beam. This set screw moves it up or down. If you turn it clockwise, it goes down. If you turn it counterclockwise, it goes up. This set screw controls, it, controls the alignment diagonally. If you move it clockwise, it will move diagonally up to the left. If you move it counterclockwise, it moves diagonally down to the, to the right. 
this set screw controls the direction either going right or left. If you turn it clockwise, it'll move the beam right. If you turn it counterclockwise, it'll move it left. And so when, you, when you're adjusting these set screws, you need to use your small wrench. You need to loosen this nut very slightly. You don't want to over loosen it. And then we recommend for you to turn the set screw quarter of a turn each turn and check where it's guiding your laser. It's important to keep track of which set screw you're moving, which direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and you have to make sure you're, you're keeping track of where it's guiding the laser. Once you're satisfied with the location of your dot, it's important to tighten these nuts again, but without moving the set screw. So continuing step number three, you would check the alignment between mirror number two and mirror number three, but towards the right side of the machine. You would get a new piece of tape, place it on the frame on the laser head, and you, then you will pose the machine. You need to make sure that you can see your dot, your visible dot. Now, depending on the location of your dot, you need to adjust these set screws. In my example, my dot, it's a little bit, it's a little bit downwards. So I would have to adjust this top set screw because it controls up or down direction. So I would gently loose, loosen this set screw and then I'll turn this set screw about a quarter of a turn counterclockwise to guide the beam upwards and then I would check to see if it's moving so I did notice that it's moving a little bit so I would just give it another quarter turn and then I'll test post it again and once I'm happy about the location of my beam being centered then I would hold the set screw and I will tighten the, the nut again without moving the set screw still continuing step number three we will bring mirror number two to the front of the machine and the laser head we will also bring it towards the left as you can see here in this location and we will pose the machine again once you get a once you get a dot you need to make sure that it's guiding towards the center in this example my dot is a little bit to the left so i need to adjust it a little bit to the right so i will loosen this nut and i'll turn it clockwise to bring the laser a little bit to the right. Once I'm satisfied with the location of the dot, I will then move the, the laser head to the, to the right side of the machine. And then I will post it again at that location. And if I see that it's not centered, I will adjust the laser. I will, adjust, I will adjust this set screw again to aim it towards the center. So now I need to go a little bit up so I would just, I will adjust this set screw. So now that I'm set, now that my dot is centered, I would just have to make sure to Hold the set screw and tighten the nut again and make sure I do not move the set screw. 